Welcome to Bambridge Medical Arts. Today I will teach you how the heat therapy works. When you ask about the acupuncture, the Chinese people always say, Zhen Jiu. They not just say needles, which is Zhen, it means acupuncture. They also say max function. Jiu means max function. I always put them together. Zhen Jiu. The max function therapy is actually it is heat therapy. Also, in Chinese medicine, say when you when the acupuncture does not work, you will use max function may work. You will see how important the heat therapy in Chinese medicine. Why it is so important? Well, I will teach you how the heat therapy works, then you understand why. Number one, the heat therapy can, re can reduce inflammation. Well, how that works? Well, we use heat therapy on the area, on the local area. It can promote the blood flow through the area. It can bring oxygen nutrition to nourish the area, to regenerate and repair the area. Also, it can flush out the inflammatory factors such as uric acid, elastic acid, carbon dioxide, also mineral, which is cause pain and cause inflammation. That's why the heat therapy can treat for all kind of uh, tendinitis or arthritis, all kind of uh, soft tissue inflammations. The secondly, the heat therapy can help you fight infections. Because heat therapy can promote blood flow through the area. But most people don't understand our blood contain all kinds of tools that fight the infection, such as B cell, T cell, or kind of lymph cell, white cell, antibody, enzyme, etc. All these tools is a natural antivirus, antibacteria, antifungal tool in our blood. That's how we live through the history without taking antibiotics. So you need to move the blood, promote the blood flow through the infection, infected area. And these tools in your blood can help you heal the infection. Also, the bacteria and the virus and the fungus, they are very, sen very sensitive to the heat. The heat actually, it hard enough can kill the bacteria and the virus, even fungus, without, without damaging your own body tissues. So all you need to heat the area at hard you can handle. It can help you fight infection. That's why the heat therapy can treat for Bell's palsy, shingles, board, herpes, ear infection, sinus infection, acne, all kind of infections, which is shallow, which is the heat can heat on the area, can help you fight the infection. Number third, the heat therapy, which is max function therapy, it can create heat on the special point. It can work as same and good as acupuncture to treat for all kind of illness. 
all you need to do is max suction stick to heat acupuncture point. It can work as good as acupuncture. So the theory also, the max suction, how it works, is to treat all kind of organ disorder, all kind of diseases, is same as acupuncture. And in Chinese medicine, they say when the cheat blocked, it can cause pain and illness. All you need to do is hit certain point on certain meridian, can balance your body, promote uh, the qi flow through your body, sort of flow through the meridian, can help you heal lots of different illness. Well, number four, the heat therapy can help you to relieve pain. When you heat the area, it can create some discomfort. The discomfort can promote the brain to release endorphin, can help you uh, to relieve pain. That's why the heat therapy can treat for all kinds of uh, joint pain or soft tissue pain. Or, for example, the itchy is the pain in the skin. It can be very annoying. It can affect your life a lot. Well, it's not going to work better than the heat therapy to, re to relieve your itchy on your skin. It can relieve so fast in a minute or two. It can relieve your itchy right away. It can also help you heal the skin faster. So I will teach you the details of different heat therapy, different tools to heat your body, to treat for different illness in other videos. If you want to learn how, how that works, how to treat for different illnesses in detail, you can go on Bambridge Medical Arts.